Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Jarhead Bonsai. I sound like this, I'm keeping my voice down because Laura's still sleeping. It's 1 a.m. and we have a 7.35 flight out to the Dominican Republic today. So what do you do when you're spending six days away from home, you don't trust anybody to water your plants or trees, and you want to have peace of mind when you're away? Well, all coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. So we're about to do a little time lapse. I'm going to attach the camera to the front of my watering can and you're going to see how I prepare all of my plants and trees. I have a lot of drip trays and what I'll do is indirect watering. So the pot will be set in a nice tray. I'll water the pot and then I'll fill the tray about an inch. So that'll buy me a day and a half to two days extra on a normal watering time. Normal watering time, I would say is about 48 to 72 hours. I'm rewatering. And I'm always missed in between, so I feel like uh, keeping the drip tray full of water will not only water the plant indirectly from the bottom if the roots are thirsty, um, but it'll keep the air more humid around the plant as well, so it'll, you know, um, fill in for those mists that I'm not doing. Right, y'all. So Laura and I are all checked in to Newark. Boom, boom, boom. Check it out. Mad early in the morning, but we are on a plane to the islands. So, uh, hey, I'm just saying, you know, work hard, play harder, and you got to celebrate your accomplishments. I always dreamed of having, you know, hardworking clients traveling all around the world, and and I got a uh, baby girl. Francesca Maria, FMK Ballerina, both on YouTube and Instagram. If you haven't followed that yet, she's dancing with the New York uh, Dance Project. New York Dance Project's a contemporary ballet company out of New York City, uh, ran by two of the best in the industry, Davis Robertson and Nicole Duffy Robertson. And so they're getting ready to start their national tour and then their international tours going to Italy. And I think they're in Australia this year too. So real exciting things coming there. And then a real big shout out. I'm so proud of uh, one of these girls uh, that was just like a little teenager deciding, hey, I want to be a ballerina. And now all of a sudden she is in St. Petersburg, Russia, um, A. Boginskaya. Uh, so you can find her on Instagram as well. She's going to be living in St. Petersburg, uh, training professionally with some of the best ballet uh, schools in the entire world. Uh, so it's just an amazing time. So Laura and I are gonna take a little break to go celebrate. So work hard, play harder, and grow bonsai. Thanks for stopping by y'all.